Hi there, I'm Adam and welcome to Local Bytes. Now today I've got a quick tip for you and that's how we're going to switch between different firmware options for any of your Local Bytes products. It's quite common for people to ask us whether they should go with Tasmotor or ESP Home. Now, we love both. We started off in Tasmotor and it served us quite well. But a lot of people coming into a smart home environment don't want to try and set up MQTT and then connect their devices to the broker and so on and so forth. ESP Home is fantastic as it will facilitate direct connections with your Home Assistant instance. But what if you've already got a bunch of Tasmota devices? Today we're going to learn how to switch between the two different firmware options. Now to get started you're going to need, you guessed it, a device running either Tasmota or ESP Home that you want to swap. For this demo we're going to start off with a Tasmota device and we're going to turn it into an ESP Home device and then we're going to do the same in reverse. Now to get started, you're going to want to navigate to that device in your browser. Now there's a really easy way to do this within Home Assistant. If you head on over to your settings, devices and integrations, and then click on devices, you can find the device in that long list or even filter it by uh, integration. And then you can go ahead and click on the visit button. Now it's really simple. We're going to head on over to the firmware upgrade section and at this point we can upload our new firmware. Here we can see the GitHub page for our smart plug. What we're going to do is head on over to the releases section and find the most recent bin.gz file. You can go ahead and download that file and upload it as is. For a while now the bootloader provided by Expressive has supported flashing gzipped files. As such, there's no need to unzip them before uploading them to your device. It's important to note that reflashing firmware this way will reset all of the configuration. As such, you'll want to go ahead and look in your Wi-Fi settings and reconnect to the plug. At this point, the setup is as it would be for any other ESP Home device. Once the device is connected, you'll want to adopt it into ESP Home and almost immediately do a firmware update. The reason behind this is the pre-compiled binaries can be a few versions older than the latest ESP Home version. No worries, once it's adopted, ESP Home will guide us through the update process as you would usually. Now let's try going the other way. We're going to take an ESP Home device and flash a TAS motor onto it. Now first off, we're going to need to locate the firmware to flash onto the device. This can be done a few different ways. First off, if you head on over to the Tasmota documentation, you'll find a link to their GitHub and the releases page, which has all of the different firmware versions. Alternatively, and this is my preferred method, click on this ota.tasmota.com link and you'll see a much more condensed view of the available firmwares. We're going to want to download tasmota.bin.gz. Similar to how we did before, we're going to go ahead and upload this file to our device. The default ESP Home web dashboard has an OTA update section down here. We can choose the file, click tasmota.bin.gz, open and update. You may find that the dashboard for your device is not enabled by default. You can quite easily add this to your ESP Home configuration with this one line. Once you've added this, you'll need to save and upload your new configuration. It's possible that you'll run into an issue with there not being enough space on the device to upload Tasmota. The next step is simple, but it's crucial. And do not upload Tasmota minimal. It will break your device. Don't ask how I know. So what we're going to do is go ahead and download the Tasmota Lite firmware, which is slimmed down, but has everything that we need to get the device up and running and then we can bring it up to the full version. Once it's uploaded, you're going to go ahead into your Wi-Fi settings, connect to the Tasmota device and connect that to your Wi-Fi. The easiest way to update this device to the full version of Tasmota is via its self update mechanism. We can go ahead into the firmware update section, have a look at the OTA URL and remove any trace of light from that value. We can go ahead and start the upgrade and the device is going to go ahead, reboot a few times and give you the latest. Now you may have noticed at this point the device is reporting as a Sonoff Basic, but that's not right. Now Tasmota and ESP Home work slightly differently. ESP Home will use a YAML based configuration to build out a firmware based on the requirements that you define. Whereas Tasmota is compiled with the vast majority of its components baked in. 
It then utilizes a template string to correctly configure your device. You can head on over to the refs section for any of our devices and where supported, you will see the Tasmota template string. You're going to want to copy this string, head into Tasmota, configuration, configure other, and paste it into the top. Whilst we're here, we can go ahead and rename the device should we wish. Make sure to click activate and then hit save. Once again, the device is going to reboot, but will now be configured as a local bytes plug. You can now configure this as you would any other Tasmota device. People often ask us whether they should go with Tasmota or ESP Home. Now, personally, I find myself reaching for Tasmota for devices that I buy and ESP Home for devices that I build. That's just my opinion, though. The general consensus within the community is, well, divided. It really is a matter of preference. However, with all of our devices, we make no effort to lock down the firmware to what we provide. They are yours to do whatever you like. As such, feel free to try both and pick a side. After all, if you're not happy with one, you can always try the other. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. After all, you could have been anywhere, but you're here listening to me talk about Tasmota and ESP Home. So thanks for that. And until next time, this has been Local Bites. I'm Adam. Thanks for watching.